Malo, lovely soy for Mao Malang Mama, um, Kiora Tato. Um, thank you so much, Jordan, for that lovely warm introduction. Um, and I'm really looking forward to um, sharing with you um, the insights into our uni prep program. Um, I know that for each of you, you'll feel a strong sense of synergy across our various uh, presentations this morning. Um, and I think it also um, reminds us of the importance of this work in terms of ensuring equity um, and the growth of our um, akunga and learner success. So, ko kia vi, toku maunga, ko elo loa toku awa, ko moana nuia, kiwa toku moana, ko si umu toku hapu, ko sa moa, uh, toku iwi, ko Jacoba Matapo toku ingoa. So my name is Jacoba Matapo and I'm the Pro Vice Chancellor Pacific here at um, AUT. Um, it's an honour to be here with you this day and uh, to share these insights, but I just want to hand it quickly over to our Assistant Pro Vice Chancellor Rennie to also introduce himself. Malo. Mano lava Yakoba, so if I go for a year to Kieto to Rossi, Kohingo Hakoko Rini at Field Douglas, how are him with Kunue? It's a pleasure to be here with everyone today. So I'll hand it back to you, Yakoba. Hello, thank you, Rini. All right, so I'm just going to um, kick us off. If you could move to the next slide. Thank you. Malo. So um, I'm just going to kick us off with a little bit of a historical context of UniPrep and um, speak a little bit about the ethos of our UniPrep program. Mm -hmm. So this year um, we were really thrilled actually to celebrate uh, 10 years of a decade of UniPrep here at AUT. Um, and over that decade, it has seen um, different sort of um, rollouts or iterations of it. And each year, I believe, getting stronger um, in terms of its growth and its capacity with our, um, with our students. So in essence, UniPrep is a transitional program. It is designed to support specifically school leavers. Um, who are looking to enter into tertiary um, education um, here at AUT. So with that, over the decade, we've seen over 2,670 students participate in the UniPrep program. And currently it is delivered at our South Campus um, here in Manukau. Um, it also builds on ongoing um, school partnerships as well that we have uh, across the institution. Next slide, thank you. So just looking at the purpose of UniPrep, um, having said that it is a transitional program, it does focus on that space between leaving school, so our year 13 students, and then entering into higher education, particularly university study. Um, the UniPrep program does, um, it is underpinned really by culturally affirming um, design. So that means um, it does build on um, a commitment, a strong commitment to tetiriti and also this year, uh, it is expanded upon um, our new Te Tiriti framework here at AUT Te Aronui. So all aspects of the design of UniPrep, the academic aspects too of UniPrep, is all underpinned um, by Te Aronui. So it is a culturally affirming uh, designed program. The uniqueness too of UniPrep is that it also reaches into different services across the whole university as well. So although it is hosted through the Office of Pacific Advancement, we work very closely with the Office of Māori Advancement, as well as our student hub, as well as um, our marketing and recruitment, and of course, experts from across all of our faculties. So um, it is indeed a, a collaborative process leading up to the delivery of our UniPrep program. Um, so moving into um, expanding on the purpose as well, is that 
realizing, um, you know, through student evaluations um, and ongoing refinement of the program over the decade, um, it's realizing you know, a unique bespoke approach that caters to um, the needs of our students coming through. And of course, um, with COVID as well, there have been um, aspects of, of practice that have had to be adapted. Um, also realising too that uni prep is an opportunity for students uh, to engage in the experience of university study without such a high risk associated to that. So what that means is students take um, a level five, one level five paper um, to get a flavor really, or a taster of what study is like or is going to be like for them um, without having to do, I guess, a full workload of study in that first semester. We all understand that that first semester of the first year of, of um, an undergrad um, or even pre-degree program um, is, is such a critical point in that transition. So um, looking at this model um, that's developed in a bespoke way for this uni prep program, is that students are involved in one level five course. So this is for our 2024 iteration. And also within the uni prep program, the students are actually split into Fano groups. And so across the entire uni prep program, we have 10 Fano groups, and there's no more than 20 to 25 students in each Fano group. Um, and the Fano group is also clustered in a way that students can actually retain those relationships as as they progress later into their respective um, fields of study or disciplines of study. So the Fano group, um, in an essence, is the beginning of peer relationships across, um, you know, the, the the student cohorts within the Fano groups too. Each Fano group is assigned two navigators. So a navigator is a peer mentor. You know, students who have have shown that they have um, demonstrated leadership. They've they've shown academic success in their own journey. They'll either um, second year students or third year students of um, a degree program. And so they're there alongside the students in their Fano groups as peer mentors. And then also within Fano groups, there is a teaching assistant as well. So you can see that there's quite a high ratio of, of um, academic support and, and academic staff supporting smaller groups of students in that, um, in that level five um, paper. So, Uni prep does occur over the summer period. It kicks off in January. It runs for five weeks. The last week of uni prep leads into orientation week, and that's where students get to go out, get to meet their lecturers. They get to have a feel of, of the classrooms. Uh, they get to um, get familiar with their campus and also their faculty. Um, an important part of this is also realizing the importance of the continuity of relationships. So really this design is about um, uffying and supporting students into that sort of transition phase as they enter into the start of their uh, respective programs. And also retaining the relationship within their ropu or their whānau group. Um, and UniPrep also follows um, the university timetable, um, you know, the usual 10 a.m. to 3 p.m., also um, supporting students in um, key academic areas like understanding self-study, understanding the skills, the academic skills required to actually uh, self-manage um, and to plan uh, and to also set aside um, in a holistic way how they will actually succeed, a plan for themselves on how they will succeed throughout that first year of their um, of their study.
So uh, just a little bit um, more about the academic program uh, just quickly as well. Um, the academic program is, like I said, underpinned by AUT's Te Tiriti Framework Te Arunui. And just to give you a few examples of this year's um, iteration of this particular Level 5 course, you know, looking at um, student positionality, which includes tūranga waiwai, whakapapa, understanding um, the importance of whanaungatanga, um, and so engaging students with the with um, these concepts and also um, kaupapa that is grounded in culturally affirming um, pedagogies. Um, it's also ensuring that students are able to see themselves within the university. So really that is about, you know, creating a strong sense of belonging. Um, also realising too, from a strengths position, the strengths that they can bring um, as learners as well into the context of their study. So what I'm going to do now is just hand it over to Rennie quickly um, to talk us through um, some of the um, uni prep um, student uh, data sets and configurations. Malo. Thank you, Jacoba. So the next few slides are covering some data points around the uni prep cohort. And so looking at this, um, this slide here, you can actually see this is looking at decile and deprivation. And so looking at the uni prep school leaver cohort versus the non uni prep school leaver cohort coming to AUT this year, there are clear differences that you can see on this on these two diagrams here between these cohorts with the uni prep cohort majority at higher levels of deprivation and, and the lowest decile and with this disproportionately applying to our pacifica our maori and our asian students and so the deprivation index you know takes into account a combination of 28 indicators in the domains of employment housing income uh, education etc now, looking at student preparedness, you know, through growing academic preparedness and cohort building in a culturally affirming and engaging environment, like Jacoba mentioned, um, really supported with staff and peer mentors, UniPrep gives students an opportunity to get a head start on the university journey academic skills. They also gives them opportunity to uh, experience AUT systems with an established network and so one of the things that we do with UniPrep students is doing a survey when they come into the program and um, this is also a wider survey that is available to all uh, incoming first year students at AUT and it indicates a couple of things and these are two, two of the examples. One is uh, looking at support and so we can see um, that when you're looking at personal support that students actually do have uh, a little bit of support that's coming from other areas be it home be it community be it their churches etc but we still have uh, say 10 percent of the cohort who are indicating that there is little to no support and an assumption could also be made that that, that some of that 12 percent who had no answer could also be uh, included in in some of those now when, when looking at uh, tools and techniques to manage you know stressful periods of study all uni prep, you know, 50, 56% of uni prep students indicated that they would welcome more information to help manage stressful periods of study. And what that does show is actually there is uh, a willingness from our students coming into the, our institutions that they do want to do their best. Now, for the cohort this year, we had 174 students confirmed in the program. Uh, we also, in addition to this 174, had another 83 students who were unable to commit to the program and so were withdrawn. And for those that provided reasons, these are reasons that we all know with the cost of living increasing. You know, we noticed that many of these students were having to work. But also of the 174 students that participated in uni prep, many of those students were also working um, 
30 plus hours and some actually were working full time whilst also participating in the program. And so it shows you some of the barriers and some of the challenges that our students are facing in terms of being able to participate in tertiary study. One of the really interesting uh, trends that we have seen is that the uni prep cohort has a very large uh, Pacific female cohort, and you'll see on the next slide. So as of 2024, 60%, 64% of the total 2024 cohort identified as female and 36% as male. And so there has this is a trend that has continued from previous years. Now, when looking at university entrance, and so 40%, 47% of uni prep students did not have UE in comparison to 23% from the general AUT population. When we look at parents who have studied at university, 56% of uni prep parents have not studied at university versus 32 with non-uni um, non prep students. And then you can see here as well, that in terms of the ethnicity breakdown, UniPrep, although it is open to everyone, it's a program that's available to, to all, to all school leavers. Um, it is, does have a very large Pacifica component. I mean, this is not unexpected given the location of UniPrep and the delivery of it at our AUT uh, South Campus in Monaco. Now, when we're looking at transition into the university, one of the things that we're really proud of is actually the number of students that actually continue on into programs. And so of the 174 students that participated in uni prep, 144 entered AUT programs. So that's 83% or approximately 83% of the uni prep cohort continued into, um, into our university. Now, of those that didn't uh, continue, some of those students may have opted out, you know, so our messaging for students when they're participating in uni prep is doing the right thing for them at that time. And so although we would love to take them as students, it's actually doing right by the student and allowing them to make that decision. And you can also see here, now these are not our faculty specific, but they're broken down by subject, where students have ended up. And there's a large proportion of our students who head into the health and sports sciences arena. So I'll, I'll hand it back to Jacoba to, to close us off. So I just want to come back to um, acknowledging um, the words or the voice of our students and, and what they've um, actually shared with us about the UniPrep program in terms of supporting their learning and their journey into um, university. Um, so UniPrep has taught me a lot about my whakapapa, the mana te tiriti holds and the mana I have within me that I had all along. I just needed to find it. Um, and also uh, thinking about the ways in which, um, you know, coming back to Ore Tiritanga um, Learner Success Series and some of the capabilities which are integral to this, thinking about a holistic design um, within the programme um, and thinking about how this programme is also learner-centric. Um, so thinking about our Pacific um, cohorts as well that come through, it was really important to present and talk about Pacific history, um, enabling students to think deeper about their own uh, critical positionality as they pursue higher education, um, and also thinking about, you know, the academic um, aspect of it as well. So uh, ensuring that the design of the academic program caters, you know, to that sense of belonging, the holistic aspects um, to empower them in their journey, but also very strong in the academic side. Um, so, yeah, so thank you, everyone. That brings us to the close of our, our short presentation. Malo lava.